I'm George Woodbury from the College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video I'm going to be talking about how to find the equation of a line that's parallel or perpendicular to a given line if you know a point that's on the line. Here's an example. Find the equation of a line that is parallel to x plus 7y equals 4 and passes through the point 7, 9. To find the equation of a line you need to know the slope and a point on the line. And we already have a point, 7, 9. So let's go ahead and find the slope of this line by solving the equation for y. Subtract x, divide through by 7. The slope of this line is negative 1 7. Now we want our line to be parallel to that, so its slope will also be negative 1 7. Now we'll talk about how to find the equation of a line if we know the slope is negative 1 7 and it passes through the point 7, 9. Substitute into the point slope form. We're going to substitute 9 for y1, the y coordinate, negative 1 7 for m, the slope, and 7 for x1, the x coordinate. Distribute through the negative 1 7 and finish by adding 9 to both sides. The equation is y equals negative 1 7 x plus 10. Now for a similar example, except we're going to be working with a perpendicular line. We want the equation of a line that's perpendicular to y equals negative 9x plus 5 and passes through the point 3, 9. Let's begin by noting that the slope of this line is negative 9. So the slope of a perpendicular line will have the opposite sign, positive, and will be the reciprocal, 1 9th. So now we need to find the equation of a line whose slope is 1 9th and passes through the point 3, 9. Substitute into the point slope form 9 for y1, the y coordinate, 1 9th for m, the slope, and 3 for x1, the x coordinate. Distribute 1 9th through 1 9th times negative 3 is negative 3 9ths, or negative 1 3rd. To finish, we're going to add 9 to both sides. Now, when you add 9 to negative 1 3rd, Remember that 9 is the same as 27 over 3. Negative 1 plus 27 is a positive 26. So the equation is y equals 1 9th x plus 26 thirds. The next two examples will take these principles and kick them up a notch. We're looking for the slope intercept form of the equation of a line that's parallel to the one that's graphed, and we want it to pass through the point that's plotted. Keep in mind, we need to know slope and a point on the line. We'll begin with the slope. Uh, notice that the x-intercept of this line is at negative 6, 0, and that the y-intercept is at 0, 6. You could use the slope formula to determine that the slope is positive 1, but you could also notice that the line between those two points moves up 6 units and 6 units to the right. So the rise over the run is equal to 6 over 6, or 1. Also take note that the, lot, the point that's given to us is the point negative 3, negative 2. Now, since we want our line to be parallel to this line, and its slope is 1, the slope of the parallel line will also be 1. So we're trying to find the equation of a line whose slope is 1 and passes through the point negative 3, negative 2. Here we go. Substitute into the point slope form negative 2 for y1, 1 for the slope, negative 3 for x1. Recall that subtracting a negative value is the same as adding a positive value. So we rewrite the left side as y plus 2, and the expression in parentheses on the right side is x plus 3. Now we can distribute the 1 and solve for y by subtracting 2 from both sides. The line that's parallel to that given line, passing through negative 3, negative 2, is y equals x plus 1. A similar problem here, except we're going to look for a line that's perpendicular to the graph line. Again, we need to begin by finding the slope. And let's take a look at rise over run again. The y-intercept is at 0, 1. I notice that there's a point here at 1, 4. The slope of this line 
rise of 3, run of 1. Rise of 3, run of 1. The slope is 3 over 1, or simply 3. If the slope of this line is 3, the slope of a perpendicular line will be negative 1 third, the opposite reciprocal of the slope we had. Also notice that the point that's given on the graph is at 5, 2. Okay. Now we'll find the equation of a line whose slope is negative 1 third and passes through 5, 2. Substitute into the point slope form 2 for y1, negative 1 third for the slope, 5 for x1. Distribute negative 1 third on the right hand side and we'll finish by adding 2 to both sides. Keep in mind that 2 is the same as 6 thirds and when added to 5 thirds we get 11 thirds. The equation of the line is y equals negative 1 third x plus 11 thirds. If you have any questions or comments on these types of problems go ahead and visit the contact page at my website georgewoodbury.com. Thanks.